starting out with the protein pancake, you're first going to have a bowl, put a scoop of protein powder in there. You can do whatever flavor you'd like. I did chocolate. Then you're going to do a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder, not soda, baking powder. Um, you're going to do a whole egg. I'm a little messy with these just because I'm not the cleanest cook. Then you're just going to mix it around until you get it mixed as much as you can and then put water in there. Put the water in slowly so you can find the consistency you'd like so you don't over water it and make it just completely watery. I personally like mine gloppy, which sounds really weird, but I like mine in a paste form so that then when they get cooked, I can stop it before it's completely cooked and then they're kind of gooey, which I like, but I know a lot of people add more water to get their desired like pancake type mix. Then I just flip it and the toppings I put are nuts and more and then Walden Farms. Those are my two favorites to do. Sometimes I combine them, sometimes I just do one or the other. The next thing is the veggie egg white scramble. I put in a cup of egg whites, I let it cook, and you can either scramble it up or do it omelet form, whatever you want to do. I let it cook for a while, then I put in some pico de gallo. Pico de gallo is going to give it tons of flavor, and I don't really like spicy, so I don't put in an amazing amount, I just put in enough to give it the flavor. Then I put in some goat cheese, which this stuff is amazing, and it's really refreshing for the morning. I also put in spinach, you can use any veggies you want though, and I let it cook. After making that, we're just going to make some Greek yogurt parfait. So normally they just do regular yogurt, and that's great, but it's super high in carbs and sugar. So what I like to do is take Greek yogurt, put granola on there, some berries, I like to do blueberries, strawberries, and just slice them up on top. This is super great. The Greek yogurt adds the protein and then you still get the flavor of a normal parfait in there. Next, proats. So proats are protein oatmeal. You need oats, chia seeds, and protein powder plus some water. So first you take a microwavable oatmeal packet, put it in there, then you're going to put in the desired amount of water. I like to cover my oatmeal and then cook it in the microwave for two minutes. I like to usually do like a minute and a half and then see how much longer I need because my microwave does a ton of different temperatures and I never know which one it's set at. So I do that, I cook it, and then when I'm done I stir it around just so that if anything's not cooked it'll cook with the heat already on it. And then I put my protein powder over it and mix it around. I love using PE Science um, or Plant Fusion. PE Science though has amazingly flavored protein so if you're looking for something that tastes Great, do that. Then I put chia seeds on top because those are high in fiber and omega 3s. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah.